Welcome students. Today I will be teaching you about sorting and conditional formatting while using open office calc a famous spreadsheet software. So, what is a sorting? Sorting means arranging data in either ascending or descending order. Practically, I will be explaining you how to arrange data in either sending or descending order. So, sorting I have already told you what is sorting. Then second term what is conditional formatting? Conditional formatting means to define format styles depending on certain conditions. So, this is just a theory. So, directly now I will take you to the interface of open office calc and there practically I will show you both the things. So, now I am here in open office calc. This is the interface. If you have first time seeing my tutorial, you can go back to my playlist and see all the basic tutorials. Okay. So, here I have already typed some data. You can just pause it and you can just note down the same in your sheet. So, I am using sheet 1, you can take any sheet. Hardly it makes any difference. So, firstly, I will be teaching you about sorting, arranging of data either in ascending or descending order. So, for sorting, I have to just select the data where I have to do the sorting. Now, practically, I will be teaching you how to do the sorting. So, by default, this mark sheet is been based upon roll number wise, like roll number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want to arrange the data. So, I will select the whole range starting from A2. This is A2. This is I8. So, I will select whole data. Then, I will go to data, sort. And under sort, you could find here sort criteria. This is sort dialog box. And by default, this is ascending order. So, by default, this is only been set. I will click upon descending order. And then I will select here percentage. I can select any. But just for giving uh, the practical based upon percentage, I want to know that which student has got the maximum marks. He should be uh, labeled as first. So, I will select percentage, then descending order. Descending order means the highest marks should be on the top and then I can click on OK. If I will click on OK, you could watch here. The student who is getting, that means roll number 3 is getting 96 marks. Roll number 1 is getting 91 marks. Then 77, 61. So, that means it is been arranged in descending order based upon column percentage. The same way I can do the sorting upon different columns also. Suppose again I am selecting it and again I am going to data sort. From here I can select mathematics. So, I can do individual sorting also. Suppose again descending order and then I can click on OK. So, you could see here based upon maths 95, 90, 75, 60. So, again it is been placed according to the marks. So, I hope this sorting method is very much clear to you. Although in sorting, we could sub sort also. Suppose uh, again I am doing some changes here like suppose uh, percentage descending, then I can use second condition also. That suppose if some student is getting the same percentage, although in my this spreadsheet I have not given the same marks to anyone, but if this situation happens, then what it should do in that particular uh, scenario, I can click upon roll number wise. The suppose two students are getting the same marks, then the roll number according to ascending order should be on the top, and then afterwards, second student should be placed at the bottom with the same percentage. So, we can add that condition also and the same way we can have third condition also. So, I hope the concept is very much clear to you. 
So, this ends how to do sorting. Now, the second concept. how to do conditional formatting. So, that is also very easy. I will select the data ok that this selection I was doing while doing the sorting. Now, I want to do the conditional formatting here. I will just select this data and uh, the condition I have already placed here conditional formatting that means the student who is getting greater than 90 or is equal to 90 should be of blue color, 60 green color and uh, less than 50 red color. So, what I could do, I can just select this data. Just now, based upon percentage, I want to do that. Again, I will go to, oh, this time I have to go to format here. Format and here you will find conditional formatting. So, just click it. So, now the condition what I have given at the bottom, the same condition I have to fill. Greater than 90, that means cell value is so, here I will find greater than or equal to 90. So, here I can click new style, uh, click on new style. Then I want to use uh, suppose bold, okay. I can change the font also and here you could see, uh, see the preview, okay. So, this is okay bold italic and then I can use font effects, font color. So, the condition was given as blue color. So, I will choose blue color from here. Okay. And then if I want along with blue color, underline strike through anything I can do. And then suppose border also I want to give here. This border I want to give. Uh, of course, with the blue color only and then set all borders and background if I want to give suppose light green or maybe uh, this color ok. Firstly, I will just check this. You could see here it has been set. So, again I will go to conditional formatting. Now, the second style. So, second was greater than 60 or equal to so green color. So, the same thing greater than or equal to new style, green color ok, the same I will use and uh, font effects, dark green color I will just prefer, uh, this is ok. Then border, I want to give the border also, ok, let it be this green I can give, ok, of this style and uh, then background, ok. So, this is also been done. Now, third condition, third condition was that means less than 50. So, third condition less than 50, here condition I have forgotten it should be 60 and this is 50. Then I can select the new style. So, this time simply I want Arial black and uh, font effects. I think red color I have just mentioned. So, I will just select red. I will check it. Yes, red color and uh, border again. If I want, I can just keep the and then I will background which is been left so you could see the condition if i change the numbers 
then according to the numbers this color will also be changed i'll give you the demo for example this here it is 387 manually if i'll type something suppose 230 you could see here the numbers are uh, according to the numbers the condition is changed it has changed into a red color so again i'll copy the formula so see it's okay now and where it is not coming in the condition like uh, this situation 52 it is not coming in any condition so it is coming by default whatever color or whatever formatting i have given earlier so i hope this condition is also very much clear to you how to do sorting and how to do conditional formatting so i am closing this tutorial here only if you have any doubts do comment so just wait for my next tutorial till then bye